All right, folks. Sorry for my, my psychopath hillbilly look right now, but it's freezing out here. And I've been outside with diesel all morning in the cold. Um, in the next clip, real short clip, all I wanted to demonstrate right now is I kind of did it in a small area because I'm using the tripod. I got no help right now. Just so you guys can see what I do towards the end of my boarding train with all dogs. But for diesel, it's even more important. I'm going to come out here on a long line, 15 to 20 feet. No e-collar, no clicker, no food, no tools, just a leash on his flat buckle collar. And I'm just going to move about. I'm going to go for a walk, not a structured walk, not with him at my side real tight. I'm just going to go for a walk back and forth. I'm going to stop. I'm going to make like the dog's not with me. And I want to see how the dog presents itself to me. I want to see is the engagement there that I want at this stage where we're at. Okay. When I stop, does he stop? If I turn and move the other way a little bit, does he stop and come to me? And so he did really, really well. You know, um, I did this last night with him. We went for a long walk and this morning too, I do it, you know, on a full walk on a longer area, but I have no one to follow me with the camera. So I just demonstrated a short little piece here. Here comes the three-legged dog. I got a three-legged dog that comes, pees everywhere, and poops everywhere. What's up, three-legged dog? Do your thing. Um, so this gives me a good idea, guys. And again, you guys wanted to see some stuff, so I'm, I'm showing you. We've been training in the pouring rain. It's been raining every day. And so some of you are going to ask, why no e-collar? No, why no prong collar? Why no, like, why just the leash and flat buckle collar? I've talked about it before, guys. For me, if the dog can't perform or work with me or behave without any tools, for me, he's not trained, okay? No tool is going to bring out the best in your dog. The tool can bring out the best in the training, all right? So if I can get him to do all the things that I want that he needs to do with me without anything, now when I add the tools, which he's already trained with, they're that much more effective, okay? Because I have to think about how is he going to behave and perform for his owners? Very simple. He's going to work for me, he should. I train dogs, right? But I need to set him up so that it's just as easy for his owners. That's why I come out with just the leash and the flat buckle collar because the dog's not always gonna have a tool on. He's gonna have the tools on a lot while they're training and, and progressing in his training, but it's real important. And so you're gonna see very, very basic, just about nothing, but I'm looking to see how he reacts to me, his demeanor, and it's fantastic. Check it out.